What's up, everybody? Well, it's over. <laughs> years and years and years of waiting. Samurai Jack Season 5 has ended, thus ending the entire series. Um, a lot of thoughts I want to get into. Uh, I don't normally do this because you guys already know, but I'm just going to give for warning here. Spoilers. Spoilers about the entire episode here. Um, we're just going to get into it. This is what I thought was really cool because we have basically everyone that Jax helped, uh, the whole world basically seeing this on TV and saying, oh, Jax on, Jax on. So that was very clever to uh, what the feeling that I was going into and a lot of fans of the show were going into that, oh, Samurai Jax on, we got to see this. This is a finale. And they sort of mirror that in the show, which is really cool. I watched it with my uncle and my cousin, uh, both huge Samurai Jack fans and... Um, Glad I got to see it with a few people um, who are big fans of the show like I am. And um, that was really clever, I thought. We got to see everybody in there, even the dogs from the first couple episodes, which is so cool. Mako, we get to hear the voice of in the opening, the old opening, the old series intro, which we get to see, which is great. Um, they played through that whole thing up until the theme song plays, which was awesome. Um, so getting to see that was really cool. And then Aku popping up and saying, no, he's not going to get back to the past. That whole thing was great. Um, so then we get to here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and uh, Aku tells Ashi to kill Jack, and just before she strikes, um, everybody comes in. I mean, the dogs, the the, the arrow guys, everyone, the woolies, uh, the sea monkey looking people, <laughs> all those people come to help Jack, and it's a full on attack on Aku's uh, place. And uh, it was a really cool battle. We got to see a lot of really cool stuff. There was some some death, some loss in there. Um, so it wasn't just a weightless fight. We finally get to see the Scotsman come with his daughters, which we've been waiting for the whole season, um, to see him finally interact with Jack. And we finally get to see that, the Force Ghost of the Scotsman. He fights uh, Aku with uh, his daughters, his army of daughters, and he names every single one of his daughters, which I think was great. Um, so uh, that, that fight was satisfying, really cool. Now, my prediction was correct from last week, where I, I did say that I thought that uh, uh, Ashi was going to be able to take control of Aku's powers and create a portal and send Jack to the past, and that's exactly what happened. So um, Jack tells Ashi that he loves her while they're both in Aku's gook, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's the thing that brings her out of it, but she retains Aku's powers, and they fight for a second, and then when she realizes she has his powers, they go to the past. Um, once they get to the past, um, it's right after Jack was sent to the future. So um, he pops up like literally 10, 20 seconds later, um, strikes Aku a few times. One blow uh, from gets him inside the sword, just like in the, the Birth of Evil episode, stabs him into the ground. Uh, except this time he goes through the entire tower of, the, uh, of Aku's and then uh, blows up and that's the end of Aku. Um, then we see him silently interact with his parents and everyone else. We never got to learn his name. I thought maybe we would get Jack's real name here, but we never got that. Um, and we see uh, Ashi is going to be marrying Jack, so they have her dressed up um, in the appropriate garb and everything. Um, and as she's walking down the aisle, she starts to faint. Jack goes there and she says, I, uh, if, if Aku never existed, or if Aku wasn't there, then I never existed since Aku's dead. So. Uh, she fades away there. She, uh, she's she gone, never existed. Um, the ending is a little bit of a downer as Jack uh, goes throughout a field, uh, sits under a tree, and sees a ladybug that was um, reminiscent of what uh, really woke up Ashi with her goodness. Um, and that's the end. We see him back in the past. Jack made it back to the past, destroyed Aku, um, and saved the future. He, he did it. I mean, that's the ending that we wanted to see. Now, we'll get into some specific thoughts on this. Um, I thought the first half, maybe a little bit more of this episode was fantastic, exactly what I think everybody wanted to see, which was everyone Jack ever helped helping him in fighting Aku, which was like this little middle, mini uh, battle sequence, which was great. Um, we got to see, um, like I said, the Scotsman interact with Jack and everything. I think, I think that this series deserved an hour finale. I'm not sure why they didn't do that, because um, I will say... As soon as they got back, I thought it was it was a little bit rushed. Um, it, I, w I would have loved to see an interaction with Jack and his parents. That's something that we missed out on. We got to see them, you know, look at each other and stuff. But, I mean, we've seen really good flashbacks with Jack and his dad, Jack and his mom. I would love to see him have a conversation about his experiences and everything like that and um, get emotional about it. But we never really got to see that. We kind of just skipped to the wedding with Ashi and Jack. I wish we could have spent more time there. I don't know why... 
they didn't just make this an hour episode. That was, that's a little bit frustrating to me. Um, everything else, though, I mean, it ended the way I, I wanted to see Jack get back to the past. And the bittersweet ending that Genny was talking about was, of course, Ashi's death. Um, but, you know, Jack is in the past. He made it back and he saved the future and everything. So, I mean, that's what's important here. Um, that's what I wanted to see. I didn't want to see, I know some of you guys wanted to see Jack stay in the future and rebuild it with Ashi, but I didn't want to see that. I wanted to see Jack get back to the past. And he did that. Um, and for that reason alone, it's a satisfying finale for the series. And I uh, enjoyed the season overall. I'm going to be doing a full season review, season 5 review, um, probably going up Wednesday or Thursday. So keep a lookout for that. I'm going to be reviewing the entire season and just talking about it as a whole. Might have a guest on, might not, so stay tuned for that. Um, but uh, just in terms of this episode, I thought it was a deserving finale for the series. I think that they could have gotten much deeper in some things with an hour episode. Um, really wanted that to... I wanted some more meat here. We got the kind of the bare bones of the finale that we all wanted to see. It was still there, but we, we could have used more time. Um, so... That was the end of Samurai Jack, uh, the whole series. I I'm glad that Gendy got to end it the on his terms. It may not have been a movie, but uh, it was a full series. We got 10 extra episodes out of this thing because, you know, I think a lot of it because of the fans demanded it and the uh, the fan base never went away for this show. So thank if you're a fan of Samurai Jack, thank you for always speaking up and always wanting to see what happened with Jack because without us, I mean, the, the show wouldn't have came back if there was no interest, but there was always interest to see the ending of Samurai Jack. Um, and I'm so happy that uh, we got to see the, the actual ending uh, that the creators really wanted, especially uh, especially uh, Gendy Tartakovsky. So, um, I'm not sure what's next for Gendy, if he's going to work on another Hotel Transylvania movie or something. Um, I'll have to look up what he's doing next, but I'll definitely be following what he's got cooking uh, coming up next. But um, that was the end, man. That was, that was it. That was... 13 years of waiting in between seasons four and five and uh we got to see the ending and yeah i'm just i'm still sort of processing right now if you haven't you can't tell i'm kind of repeating myself just because i'm still kind of thinking about things um so i mean the, my biggest reservation about it is just i wish it was an hour that was that's the only real uh, you know small issue i had with it but it was a good ending jack made it back to the past and that's that's about it um let me know what you guys think of it was this everything you thought it would be uh was this everything that uh you built up in your mind about it because there was so much hype about this going in i did like i said before at the beginning the beginning with them watching the tv and and showing the old uh intro and everything i thought was just brilliant fantastic stuff and that that mirrored my feelings and i think a lot of people's feelings on the show and just saying you know the characters watch jack like we watch jack it was, it was really cool um so what do you think what do you think they could have done differently let me know in the comments um also let me know uh if there's another series that you guys want me to talk about weekly because i'm going to be looking for another one since jack is over unfortunately um let me know in the comments i saw star wars rebels season four i'd love to do that love star wars rebels i would love to talk about star wars rebels um if there's anything else but that's not starting till the fall so if there's anything else over the summer you guys want me to talk about let me know um i will look into that stuff um some other uh, quick notes I'll just tell you. I'm a big fan of Full House. I don't care everywhere you look. That's me. Um, I just been to watch season two of Fuller House because I finally had some time to myself from not watching top five stuff. Um, and I love that, but I'm not going to be doing a vlog on that. Um, I'm in the middle of Iron Fist right now. I'm seven episodes in. And honestly, I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people are saying. But, uh, I, don't, I mean, it's not great. It's not nearly on the level. And I'm not done with it yet, mind you. I don't think it's 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 not on the level of, like, you know, Daredevil or Luke Cage or Jessica Jones. But I don't think it's quite as bad. Like, the giant steaming pile of dog crap that everybody thinks it is. But, um, ask me my thoughts about that. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at awesome underscore Walter. Um, I just started a Facebook page, facebook.com slash awesomewalterb, because some freak took awesomewalter. You know. um, so uh, make sure to like my Facebook page. Um, make sure to check out Top 5 Best and Worst Ridley Scott movies up on Channel Awesome right now. Um, the Suicide Squad review is up on there. I played Diablo. Um, and make sure you come back here uh, later this week for a full Season 5 review of Samurai Jack. Gotta get back. Back to the past. Samurai Jack. And you made it back. Very happy about that, but still processing this episode. I'm filming this right after. Usually I, I have to wait a little bit, but I want to get this out as quick as possible. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you soon. Um, give praise.
Checkmate back to the future. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.